Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are out with the Nikon D850. It's my first impressions and hands-on with the camera. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We're down at the Horse Ranch in Kentucky. There's a, an event of some sort going on right now. I've got the uberly anticipated Nikon D850. It's the first time I've ever shot Nikon before, so it's gonna be complete first-hand experience and first impressions of it. Um, full disclaimer, this is not my camera. This is Ken, the angry photographer's camera. He's kindly loaned me this camera for today. Um, so just to put that out there, it's not actually my camera, but I am interested in the whole Nikon system. So that's off the reason why I've actually got this camera. So let's, um, let's go for a walk and test out what this camera can actually do. Uh, I'll post up some of the photos as we go. So let's uh, grab that camera off and let's go for a walk. All right, so as you can see, I'm in full sun right now. The sun is pounding down. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. It's 84 degrees. I'm not built for heat, as you guys know. This is, this is way too hot for me. So I'm probably gonna burn in the next couple of minutes anyway. I've got no sun cream on, stupidly. Sunscreen, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm just gonna go for a walk and see if I see an image that I like. Currently on back, Back button focusing, that's pretty cool. Ooh. Oh wow. So I've got the 24 to 70 mil on 2.8. So let's, uh, let's see actually how this, how easy, it's actually quite intuitive really. Let's have a look. So I'm actually looking in, I'm looking in to the viewfinder to, to review the image, but I've just remembered it's DSLR. I haven't shot DSLR for a good few years. So, that's kind of uh, different. It feels, very it feels a lot heavier than my GFX. I don't know why. It feels a lot, lot heavier than GFX. Maybe it's the lens, but here we go. Let's try and punch in and get that lady there. So, I mean, I'm not going for, um, I'm not going for anything crazy. I'm just literally testing out this camera, what it can do. So I'm looking for, I mean, the G everyone knows the GFX is slow as hell, so. I'm looking for a, a fast studio type camera. That's nice. I put these pictures up, guys. So there's a guy walking up right now. I'm going to try and get him. I don't know if I'm allowed to walk on this stuff. I'm going to stand here on the edge. This guy's walking up now. Extremely harsh light right now. There's little girls here. Look. <laughs> He's got a glitter on his head. He's a big horse. Look at this horse. Let's get it. Yes. <laughs> I'm taking a photo of this horse's butt right now. I'm just testing it out. Look at the veins on it. Let's try and zoom in on his, uh, on his leg, at least. Nice set of pins there, little horsey. Nice set of pins. Here, smile, little horsey. Smile. Nice. Cool. I got him. Let's walk this way and see what these girls are doing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna walk around this park. It's a big event going on right now. Yeah, the sun's dipping in and out, so there's a lot going on right now. It doesn't seem like there's a lot, but there is actually quite a lot going on. This is, I'm telling you now, this is 100% heavier than, definitely heavier than my um, GFX. Definitely. Definitely just feels heavy in my hand. Just walking around it at my neck, I can feel it just digging in. Let's take this one. This horse is looking straight at me. Is it right to take a picture? Is it all right with you? Yeah? Cool. I'm just gonna grab this quick photo here, guys. So, there's a lot of white going on. Thank you. So the sun, what's time now? 10 to three. This guy has got, I bet this guy's sweating. Look at this guy. Oh, that's a nice shot here. Let's get this horsey, horsey. I'm just trying to get you put guys pretty much see me right now. Oh, the horse is actually getting some food right now. Hello. Hello, horsey. Nice, I got it. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it feels very similar to my old Canon 5D Mark III that I had. And I haven't had that. I've not used that for well over a year or two, and it feels kind of the same. Um, it's a lot heavier than... It feels a lot heavier than the GFX, as I mentioned before. And I think that's because the whole body is fully magnesium. 
Um, so there's, there's no plastic inside the actual body, but yeah, it feels nice. Definitely fit it on my neck. Can definitely fit it on my neck over the GFX. So for re reviewing, it's nice having um, touchscreen. That is handy. That is quite nice. So you could review them like that. I don't normally pinch and do that kind of stuff until I get in. But if you if you're out in the field, you just want to quickly check it out. It's nice to be able to pinch and swipe and do all the normal touchscreeny things. <laughs> dog, my dog does that, and we've got to take a photo of that. You see that dog carry his bottle? Look, there he is. Look, let me try and get closer to me. My dog does this, Megatron. He looks hot. My dog does exactly the same. Yeah. Just carries, picks up all the bottles and... Yeah. Is it okay to stroke? Yeah. Pat, pattern, yeah? yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello. Oh, you're very warm, aren't you? Very hot. Walked over in the sun. Yeah. You chill out in the, sun, in the shade. Is she quite old or is she young? Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, my dog's ten. So much reach we can get with this. Oh wow. But give it a blip. People are moaning about what have you have you done any video on it yet? People are saying that it's overheated in 4K. Yeah, I'm not seeing any evidence. Someone sent me five videos uh, the other day and there's no evidence in any of the five videos of what are you talking about? Yeah. Right, so for me I obviously shoot a lot of video as well as photography, so I've not just do photography. So I'm looking to get this camera for video as well. Just checking out um, some of the formats, it shoots, obviously it shoots 4K as a big horse. Shoots 4K, but it doesn't do 4K 60p. It does 1080 60p. What does it go up to in 4K? 4K, 4K 30p, 4K 25p. You can only get 60p in 1080 for video. So if that's an issue for someone, then I've got the GH5. GH5 is just amazing. If you're going to shoot video, I wouldn't recommend getting this camera for photo and video, just because of the frame rates. I think the um, GH5 is only about eighteen hundred pound or dollars, whatever you want to call it. So, I think this is at three three thousand three hundred, three thousand five hundred. So, it does do video, but it doesn't do four K sixty p. If you want four K sixty p, go for the GH5, one hundred percent. Probably going to mess up all these settings for Ken later on. <laughs> I'm going to stick it into continuous high. Gonna wait for a few horses to run round. So what, Matt? F3.2. Continuous autofocus. Let's try. I'm shooting Tiff at the minute because I don't think there's any support right now for Lightroom. Viewfinder just feels so strange. Looking through it, and I keep going back to look at it to see the images I've just taken. There isn't anything there. It's just literally nothing. It just feels weird shooting a a mirrored uh, mirrored camera. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Bam. Machine gunned it. Sounds loud, that mirror slapping. I'm not, I'm not overly convinced yet. It hasn't, I've been out of it now for a few hours. The menu, it feels very Canon-y. When I say canon I mean like the menu system, like the layout. It's completely different to the GFX and the Sony. Let's take a look, the sun's gone in now, so it's, Pretty soft light at the minute. There's no real contrast anywhere. So yeah, so um, down at the uh, Kentucky, the Kentucky Ranch, as I'm supposed to pronounce it, the ranch. We call it ranch, but we're actually at the ranch shooting this D850. Apparently, there's uh, you can't actually get these right now. There's, they're pretty much sold out across the world. There's like a, I think there's one on eBay for like nearly nine grand. Don't really, but I do want to get into wildlife photography. That's the re main reason why I want to get, was looking into the D850 is actually to shoot, start shooting some wildlife. Um, yeah, other than that, it won't be sports or anything. I could probably use it for events. I'll probably take it to, I'll probably dish, stop using my XT2. Start using my, uh, start using the D850 for events. Yes, I can't get over the weight of it. I really can't. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I got that one. Won't know till we get back. Because I'm trying to look through the viewfinder to see, to review the image, and I just, obviously, you can't, so. 
So I actually want to use the Nikon D850 as a backup camera to the GH5. Um, I'm still really interested in it. Uh, I'm not sure, even if I wanted one, I couldn't get one anyway because they've sold out everywhere. So I'm going to have to wait till, till I get back to the UK to see what's actually available. But it's a very interesting camera. It's a very, very interesting camera. I've had a little play on the, the Canon 5D Mark IV. I'm not too keen on that, but this D850 is very interesting. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out for a little bit more time, see what happens, and then I'm kind of interested in what Sony brings out as well. I've got the A7R2 as well. I'm really holding out for the Sony. There's a few people that I've chatted to online on Instagram and YouTube, and everyone's like, we're all just waiting to see what kind of Sony does. So that's like one of the things I'll be doing as well. Um, I know there's a few people that I talk to online, Instagram and YouTube that are actually waiting for Sony to see what they bring out. So big shout out to angry photographer Ken for loaning me the camera and the lens. It was amazing to go out and shoot with it and go down to the, uh, the ranch, Kentucky ranch, to the horse event. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, maybe click the subscribe button and the little bell to the right hand side to be notified of all my newest videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.